Hello, my friend Titi. It was afternoon of November 2020. It was Corona time. And we all know, during pandemic, we all were at home. It was boring, but it was safe. Everyone around the building, the specific residents in China, were at home. And they suddenly heard a loud th sound. Almost like something fell with big th sound. Neighbors were curious. Acting on impulse and curiosity, they looked down from their windows just to see two toddlers lying unconsciously on the ground. Watching this, all the neighbors rushed to the ground. Now they can see clearly that indeed there were two children lying on the ground. They immediately called the police and amidst the chaos, a man suddenly appeared in casual black pajamas, crying, yelling, my kids, my kids, banging on the ground. It can be seen on the video taken by someone people found that he was the father of those children. I mean, it was sad. They feel bad for him, like they were holding him, you can see on the video. Soon police arrived at the scene, only to find the two years old girl had already passed. However, her brother, which was just one and a half years old, was still breathing. This is so heartbreaking just to imagine, like he was so little. It was an unimaginable scene, especially knowing that they had fallen from 15th floor. So they rushed him to the hospital, and when they arrived, the little boy also lost his life. Now the both siblings were dead. Now the question is, who were these kids? Where were their mother was when they fall? Where was their father? Did they fall by accident? This is what we are going to talk about today. Before to see this case, we need to see their parents' backgrounds. Like who were they? What was happened? How it happened? And so, Zhang Bo was born in 1994. When he was little, his father died, and they were not really financially stable, so he only learned till secondary school. Now, because he needs job for money, so he did little jobs here and there. However, they were not making really much money, and he really needed money. Ever since he was little, he was good with words, like what to say, where to say. He was just excellent with playing words, I would say. So it also gave him a charming impression. So around 2016, by doing these little little jobs, he got a job in a middle company where he happened to meet Chen, who was three years older than him. Just like Zhang, Chen was not really bougie, but she was still better than him financially. At first time, Zhang really liked her, like, you know, love at first sight, he thought. There was something in Chen that really captivated his attention. But for Chen, it was not like that. She was not really impressed with him at first. But as I said before, Chang was really good with words and so, so he used those magic words here also. At first, she was not really impressed and just focuses on her work, but slowly she felt it too. She was impressed by his words. You know, those people, they're not good looking, nor they have personality, but they have some words. And so she was impressed by his words and so they start dating. For a few months, it was okay, but after that, it kind of went on and off. It was not like he used to say before. So she was like, now I have to get myself out from this trouble and just break up. But it was too late because she was already pregnant in the middle of 2017, I believe. And so she was pregnant. It was so sudden and surprisingly, when she told him everything, he surprisingly don't want abortion. And so do she. So they decided to keep the baby. At this point, Chen just basically started to sacrifice herself for her children. She just don't want her kids to get harmed or anyone to hurt her child. From there, she just ignores the red flags in Zhang, thinking when he'll see their baby, he might change. So they came and they got married. They got married the same year. Now here's the problem. Because they needed home and because he was not financially stable, Chen's mother bought them an apartment. And she even took responsibility for their marriage expenses too, because of the sake of her grandchild. Young mother was not really happy, I believe, with their marriage, but all went as it was supposed to go. And so they finally got married. After becoming a husband, he was okay with her, a caring husband, if you will. And in early of 2018, she gave birth to a baby girl named Zhang Rushi. Even after her birth, he did not change. He did not care about their daughter. He didn't even consider or think her as his daughter to begin with. 
he never really helped Jen with her work, even doing little things as small as making milk bottle or changing diapers of baby. The other problems with him, he was not really present at home during days, neither at night. And so she did all of this by herself. At this point, she was literally raising their child, his and her own child, as single parent. It's almost felt like he was not alive or present in their life. At first, she thought it might be because he preferred boys, you know, those Asian things. He always wanted boys, maybe, and not girls, she thought. She thought he's one of those parents. She didn't even knew that during all of this, he actually met Ye Chim, just like he met her. Like Zhang, she was not poor, Ye, his new girlfriend. She was not really poor like him. She was bougie. She was, she was CEO, I guess, of his father's food company. She had money. You might be wondering, like, how Ye agreed to be with him with no money and all that. Well, because if you portray yourself rich and elite, and even can be with you, want to be with you. So basically at home, he was a normal dude, but outside he was borrowing money with companies, I believe. He would also borrow money with his friends, which he never returned, by the way. He showed himself as a owner of a company to people, and by doing all, he even managed to buy a car. He was just really want to impress her at this point, because he found Ye as his key to success. Like, why not? She was rich and, and he wanted to be rich too. And no way he gonna let this chance slide. Now at first, Ye didn't know that he was married and had child. But later, she found all of this. She still chose to be with him. Now at home, Chen was pregnant again just after a few months of their first child. It was hella hard for her to do all this but her mother, she was on her side all the time. So this time, she was kind of wanting a boy wanted a boy imagining that it might change his behavior. But after she gave birth to their son in 2018, but he was still same. No reaction, no interest whatsoever. And around this time, I guess, Ye also realized or happened to know that Zhang is married and had kids. At first, she was furious, but Zhang also uses his words here and she also wanted to be with him. So she stayed. And the wife, she know nothing about this that he had this inappropriate relationship with another woman. After a few months, Zhang just, just can't handle this anymore, he thought. Now he wanted to divorce Chen because he wanted to get married with Ye. But Chen don't want this, of course, because of her children's. She don't want her children's life like, no matter how bad and worse Zhang was, she still want to be with him. I think during this time, she still didn't know that he had this affair. Because he said to her that you want me to live with you as an ordinary life. But I don't want to live like that. I want to live a good and better life with more and better opportunities. So basically, he said that they have different goals and so he filed for divorce. But at that time, for some reason, she was unable to keep both children. So she asked Zhang to keep her child, literally his son, for like five years. And when he gonna turn six, she'll take him back. And he surprisingly agreed. So the daughter went with her mother and son with his father. With the same apartment, I guess, that Chen's mother bought, I believe. And by doing this stuff, he see the full freedom to bring his girlfriend in the apartment. They even wanted to marry with each other. But Ye sees those children as burden to her. Even though he only had his son with him. But he still saw the children as caught obstacles for her to get married with Chen and burden for their future life together. She said to him, if you want to get married to me, you need to get rid of caught those children. Why not get rid of both of them at once? Why not kill two birds with one stone? She don't want to wait five years for this child to turn six and get back done to his mother. What if she don't want him? What if she blackmail him after and wanted to get back together with him? What's she gonna do then? She don't want that and she'll never gonna let this happen. So she was like, they need to get rid of these babies now. And from there, they just started to plan like how to kill those babies because he agreed to do so because he was in love, he said. They were literally planning for like nine months. At first, they thought of accident things. Remember the car he bought? But they gave up because he didn't have car insurance. So they were searching for another plane, the more easy one, the more obvious one, if you will. Something that doesn't need too much work and for looking months and months, they finally found one. 
by pushing off from 15th floor. Literally, a father decided to kill his two flesh and blood by pushing them from 15th floor, which they literally did. It also said that Jay was so impatient and was literally asking him or telling him to do actions like do something to those children so they can get married. And if he never did this, she'll never gonna marry him and gonna slit or cut her wrist. So she was basically threatening him. The fact that he agreed, like, so one day before the murder, he asked his wife, Chen, to leave their daughter for a day so she can play with her brother. FII, he never asked her before like this to leave their daughter. So she, will, she was a little suspicious. And he also said that he just missed her and wanted to buy her clothes. The same daughter that he never ever even looked for a moment. And suddenly he wanted to spend time with her. But Chen thought he might change. You know, people change. He might change. Everything is possible. People change, right? Maybe he's feeling bad for the daughter that she don't have her father with her. And so that's why he's doing this. She was like, I know nothing about the father. You know, those father institution, maybe he was just missing her. So she agreed to let her go. But she was wrong and she realized it very late. So now their daughter is with him. By seeing daughter, they say he didn't have courage to do so, which I totally disagree. You can, you can argue on that. But I think he was just scared. But that day, incident day, Ye video called him and was really pushing him. And she was basically threatening him that he, if he don't do this, she gonna kill herself. And Zhang, a grown up man, was scared and he just chose to over this. And he chose her over his flesh and blood. He threw the phone, grabbed kids and just dropped them off from 15th floor. After doing this, he put on his same crying face and create all the drama that I talk about in the beginning of the video. At first, police thought that this is all accident, but not long after, the truth starts flooding out. First thing they noticed was his statement that he said that their daughter, which was literally two years old, opened the window by her own and tried to grab her brother to let him see the view. And by doing so, they fell, which was literally impossible if you see, cause, cause the window was high and narrow, I believe. And it was impossible for a two years old to do. They, they didn't find any fingerprints on the glass either. There was only the fingerprints of father. So they confronted him and then he was like, this is not what happened. I actually forgot because he was drinking, I guess. So I was actually looking through the window. Kids were playing and I forgot to close the window. I went outside to eat. That's when I heard the sound. So basically saying the kids held their own, which was still not possible. So they finally looked through his phone and they found the calls, the messages between him and Ye. And everything just become crystal clear. They literally found messages that reads, caught, if the child is gone, I'll marry you. One of them will die anyway. Kill both of them together. When they fell, ex-wife, Chang, she also found this not long after. She rushed to the hospital, hoping for a miracle, but it was too late. She was actually the one in the first place saying that my children would do that. Saying their daughter was so well behaved and, and she even told her daughter multiple times to not to go nearby window. And she said she was a child who always listened. There was no way she can do this. She literally said that there was no way they can do this. Shang and Jay were arrested on 10 November 2020. Trial began. It was also said that Zhang's mother got him attorney. But when she found that he was indeed the murderer, she stopped doing it. During first trial, he denied everything, saying it was Ye who made him do. And he really loved his children. And what do you expect? Ye said it was him. They were literally throwing blame at each other at this point. But because all of the evidence were there, it didn't really go for long. And after two trial, I believe, they were sentenced to death by court in July 2018, after just eight months of their crime because he literally admit everything. Devin had the audacity to appeal, but the court decided to keep the death penalty during a second trial that happened last May, I believe. Court said that basically, the actions of Yang Bo and Ye Zheng all constitute intentional homicide. In December 2023, they again got the death penalty. 
When hearing that there was no way for him now, he started to send letters to his ex-wife, Chen, literally begging for forgiveness. She literally said that Zhang hadn't written her any letters during the 13 month after her kids were killed and before the trial or since they started dating in 2017. But surprise, surprise, he did this this time. She posted three letters from Zhang on Douying where he offered her Montau's house as compensation and talk about how sorry he was but of course, there was no room for sorry this time. She even said that he was doing all acting, like showing himself that he was regretting or presenting him as a victim so that God show him mercy. She said, God, the best way for you and Ye to atone for your crime is to accept the sentence of the first trial and die quietly. She wrote in a letter of reply to Zhang, if people who committed such an atrocious crime don't receive the death sentence, no child will be safe anymore. This case become a really hot topic all over China with millions of views and comments. All of them were agree with Ye and her decision. She said, for the sake of my two children, I must see you die at all cost. January 31st this year, Xiang and Ye both were executed. We don't know the method of execute, but apparently, they use capital punishment for serious crimes like murders and drugs and trafficking. They carried out executions either by lethal injection or shooting. And a lot of people in China support the death penalty. According to a survey by the New York Times, the death penalty also used in other East Asian countries. China actually executes more people than all the countries combined. And people support Zhang and Che executions too. Chen, the mother, also said that one day, she asked their daughter who she liked better, daddy or mommy, and she replies daddy. After the execution, court informed Chen, and she posted online that she would comfort her child in heaven. So yeah, this was the story of a cruel father who threw his children off from 15th floor balcony. What are your thoughts on this case? Leave them in the comments, and I'll see you all next week.